What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC video. It is Sunday, which means it is rental team day today. You know, I, I'm sharing the team that I've used throughout the week. As a reminder, this is how it always is. I will use the team Monday, Wednesday, Friday in a video and then I'll drop the team on a Sunday for you guys. So this is what we use throughout the week. Uh, it is a team built around support assault vest Tinkaton. The only major changes I've made to this team uh, is that the Golden Go is now Terra Flying to better take advantage of Nasty Plot in the face of Ga uh, Garchomp. And Tinkaton is now running Assault Vest Mold Breaker rather than uh, Own Tempo because uh, Mold Breaker allows me to fake out Dragonites as well as uh, drop speed stats on like Clear Body um, Dragapult with Rock Tomb. So that's very, very reliable now. So yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and get right into the team breakdown. Code is on the top right there for anyone who wants to use it, but let's talk about how the team's built. So, uh, this team is built around Tinkaton with Mold Breaker. Uh, Mold Breaker, of course, being an ability that allows you to bypass all other abilities. It's got Fake Out, Rock Tomb, Knock Off, Gigaton Hammer. Uh, if you look at the speed stat, it's actually built to be faster than Opposing Golden Go, uh, which is very, very nice. Uh, that will allow you to go for either Knock Off or Rock Tomb into like Rotom Heat Overheat. Uh, but yeah. Uh, also, Gigaton Hammer, uh, after a Terra Steel, while it isn't the strongest move in the game, is a huge chunk of damage, so take advantage of that. Beyond that, it's just built to be as bulky as possible. So yeah, that's the Tinkaton. Uh, Rotom Heat is running Citrus Berry, Levitate, Terra Electric, Will-O-Wisp Overheat, um, Nasty Plot, Thunderbolt. Uh, it's got 244 HP, 4 defense, 4 special defense, uh, enough speed to outspeed Dragapult if we lower the Dragapult speed with Rock Tomb. Uh, and the rest is dumped into special attack. It's just meant to be a bulky uh, overheat guy. And of course, when you Terra Electric with a Levitate, you actually don't have any weaknesses. Uh, also, it's meant to take on like Golden Go and Garchomp very effectively, since you can burn Garchomp and like one shot Golden Go. We have Clear Amulet, Garchomp, Standard Set, Swords Dance Protect, Dragon Claw, Earthquake, uh, you know, Clear Amulet stuff, very, very standard. We have an Eevee Light Murkrow, just a very bulky set, the same one I used on like most of my recent teams. Max Defense, Max HP, 4 Speed, Tailwind, Foul Play, Haze, Icy Wind. We have a Technician Breloom, Focus Sash, Bullet Seed, Spore Protect, Mock Punch. Uh, just meant to take advantage of that Murkrow Tailwind and put things to sleep. A very nice Pokemon, and also that Bullet Seed chunks everything, and it has a very solid chance of one-shotting Garchomp if it Terra Grounds. And of course, we have our Max Speed, Max Special Attack, 4 HP, Golden Go, Life Orb, Good as Gold, Nasty Plot, Make It Rain stuff, Terra Flying. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into the uh, battles. Let's just go ahead and use it like right now. So, of course the code was right there. People are still going to ask, where's the code? There's always someone. In fact, if you've made it this far in the video, say, where's the code, Captain? I, I, I don't know, man. <laughs> where's the code, Captain? Okay. We're not the highest on the ladder. I've been testing a lot of weird stuff recently. But yeah, let's see if we can get some showcase videos, or some showcase battles for this. I have used it throughout the week and of course uploaded like some really nice uh, highlights of it, but uh, let's see if we can get some just right now. So we're facing off against a very confused team. It is a sun and rain team with a palafin and an Amoongus. Uh, I think in this situation, my Tinkaton lead is always super, super reliable. Um... I can also just like lead off Breloom and Murkrow and like deal with everything. I just have to be a little scared of a few things. Uh, da, 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 da. How do I feel about this? Rotom also just like switches in on everything. I could lead off Rotom. I might do that actually. Yeah, no, Rotom just like can annihilate this team if I Terra Water. You know, let's do this. Um, let's do Tinkaton, Breloom, Rotom. And do I want Murkrow or String Cheese? Let's go String Cheese. Now String Cheese doesn't do much. Let's do Rotom. Or let's do Murkrow. All right. I also built this team in record time because I did it on live stream and I just asked the viewers like, hey, if you guys have like these things, can you help me out? And they did. They did. You guys are the best. Thank you for helping. All right. Mimikyu Torkoal, uh, that is effectively the lead I wanted. Um, because I can just go for Fake Out into the Torkoal, as well as a, uh, Spore onto the Mimikyu, and prevent the Trick Room. Fake Out Torkoal, 
Spore the Mimikyu. They'd have to be like Lumberry or Safety Goggles to block this, which I don't think they are. Alright. See, if I was uh, if I was brave, I would have actually just knocked off the Mimikyu and expected the Torkoal to protect. Uh, but I am not brave. I am actually a coward. So I needed to stay asleep for one turn here, because I'm gonna spore the Torkoal now, and then I'm gonna just I'm just gonna go for knockoff into Gigaton Hammer. So if you could stay asleep, that'd be really great. Mental Herb, spore, stay asleep, Mimikyu, stay asleep. Come on, buddy. You don't want to wake up. You got school. You got school in the morning. You don't want to wake up. Come on. Okay, cool. This is not a very studious Mimikyu, so it's gone. Alright. So... Oh, wait! I just realized! I could have just Gigaton Hammered immediately. I forgot. I just bypassed that entirely. No, I'm stupid. I forgot. I just bypassed the ability. Okay. Uh, let's Gigaton Hammer, and I'm actually gonna... Go for Mach Punch, I guess, just for some damage. I forgot. No, I don't care about this thing. I could have just one shot it. I'm stupid, guys. I'm stupid sometimes. I forgot that Mold Breaker just ignores that. Goodbye. I was like, wait, the disguise didn't break. Marcos, are you stupid? All right. Oh, Torkoal woke up. I'm fine. Yeah, because I'm Sash and Tinkaton eats. So I'll just put it to sleep again. Amoongus. Uh, yeah, not particularly concerned with that guy. As a matter of fact, I think my play here is just going to be to knock off and protect. Because I would expect the Amoongus to want to attack my Breloom as the Torkoal protects. Rage Powder. Okay, that's fine. Wave, please KO my Tinkaton. I kind of need that here. Thank you. Don't you hit it when you like need something to get KO'd and you just don't get it? Like on your end, where it's like, yeah, I win here as long as that goes down. All right, let's get in the uh, the Rotom here. And I always just go for Overheat onto that uh, Amoongus and hope that I don't miss. Overheat, we go for a Spore onto Torkoal. Prevent it from moving this turn. Amoongus could always Terra, um, but it isn't the end of the world, because if it is Terra Water, I'm able to KO it with Bullet Seed next turn. Rage Powder? Okay. I think they don't know that that doesn't redirect Spore. Cool. Alright. Man, it would have been so much cooler if I just, like, went for the Gigaton Hammer immediately to showcase the Mold Breaker. But I forgot. I just, I don't know why, I forgot about that. Skeletor Dirge. Yeah, I can just put you to sleep in, like, Nasty Plot here. Just to get back up to neutral. You know, I kind of invite it to Terra Grass. I'd imagine it's probably Terra Grass. That's like a very common Terra for the uh, Skellies. Terra Fire. Okay, well, you're just going to sleep. Nasty Plot up. What if they're Goggles? That could be really bad. They're not. Okay. Lumberry? Ooh, am I scared of that though? I don't think so. Torkoal's gonna stay asleep because I told it to. Thanks, buddy. I really needed that, bro. Like, that was actually like all I needed here. Alright, um, I'm back up to neutral. I don't want to Terra just yet. I think I'm just gonna Thunderbolt and Mach Punch. Because I want to keep my resistance. That doesn't quite KO. Probably gonna wake up this turn, but Rotom doesn't drop. Yep. 
in a heat wave? Miss. <laughs> oh, I love when I call those. Okay. Um, I'd imagine it's unaware Skeledurge, so I think we just Thunderbolt here. And mock punch the Rotom, or mock punch the Torkoal. Alright, stay asleep. Nice. Cool. Stays asleep. Uh, that should just be a win. Because I always just Thunderbolt it again. And mock punch you. They get a double protect. That doesn't quite matter, though. Because there's a chance they get, like, three turns of sleep. But also, like, Murkrow just comes in and foul plays this next turn. And I win. Yep. Wakes up. Torch Song. It's going to kill my Balloon. And yeah, I mean, that's always in range of Thunderbolt, so I just foul play Thunderbolt and win. Oh, they're Throat Spray. All right. All right. Not overheat. Oh, that could have been bad. <laughs> if I missed an overheat and lost there, that would have actually been really bad. But that's going to be game. Tries to protect. Foul play with KO the Torkoal from this range, so it doesn't matter. All right, sweet. By the way, I do have to point this out. Um, the team would technically be better if I Terra Ghosted my Murkrow. I might have said it earlier, but I think I didn't. Because uh, Terra Ghost allows you to be immune to Fake Out, but I don't quite care enough to do it. <laughs> I don't quite care enough to optimize it, because I feel like it's kind of a waste of a Terra to Terra Murkrow most of the time. It might win you a game or two, but most of the time it's not worth it. Alright, let's grab one more game. As we defeat Ruben. I've never seen the name Ruben spelled that way. And I know a guy named Ruben. And it's spelled a lot like the sandwich. Okay. I love that you earn league points just for playing the game. That's so nice. Like, every single match you get points. That's, like, such a good change. <clears throat> This time I'll try not to forget that I have Mold Breaker on Tinkaton. It's a very recent change, so you know, you can't blame me for forgetting. We face a high-ranked player. Um, okay, that is solo Tatsugiri. That's concerning. I don't know what it's going to do. That being said, um, I really, really, really like Berloom this game. It could be, like, super good. Yeah, my Berloom lead seems, like, insanely reliable. Next to stink a ton. Uh, and we'll go with these two in the back. Yeah. Let's do it. His name's stink a ton because it stinks a ton. It's not a very good Pokemon. It's fine though. Like it, it, when I did my tier list, I put it in C tier out of respect for what it's done for me. Uh, it's like a good Pokemon situationally. Um, if they're goggles, this could be bad. I mean, they might be scarf on the dude. I think I spore. I think I just double spore fake out. They withdraw. Something's probably going to sleep unless it's like Meowskarada. But then Meowskarada is in range of like sucker or not sucker punch, mock punch. Okay, I can live with that. I'm kind of concerned of what this Tatsu is going to do, though. I, I don't know. I see wind. Okay, that's not the end of the world. Because, oh, that does two-shot Breloom, so I kind of need to get him out of there. Yeah, I kind of have to get him out of there. Possible Scarf on the Tatsugiri, so I'm going to go for a knockoff. I don't want to get in Golden Go, though. I think I protect here. Yeah, 
and knock off the, the Tatsugiri. Let's see if it's Scarf. Pretty sure it is, because it outspid my Tinkaton. Garchomp stays asleep. Alright, yeah, that was Choice Scarf. Um, I think I just go for, like, Mock Punch and get in my Murkrow. Because two Mock Punches will KO Tatsugiri, or maybe even one, depending on, like, how not bulky it is. I don't know, man. Uh, point is, uh, I want Tatsugiri to go away, because that speed control is very annoying, and the Fake Out could be really good later. Okay, wake up. Protect. That's fine. I'd like for my Breloom to go down this turn. Icy Wind. Dodge it. Yep, Marco dodges. Good. That's actually super, super important. Alright. Uh, let's get in the Golden Go. Yeah, I get in my Golden Go here, and I Terra, I Terra Nasty Plot, and then go for the foul play on the uh, on the Atsugiri. Terra Nasty Plot, go for foul play. They shouldn't be able to kill my Murkrow, so I should always be able to Tailwind next turn. You go for the Earthquake? Oh, that's so good. Because I'm going to Foul Play this Garchomp now. Yeah, they gain nothing from that. That's huge for me. And Foul Play plus Shadow Ball into the Volcarona might do it, but I think I have to Tailwind anyways to be safe. No, I think I might Foul Play. I could Tailwind make it rain. It'll do a decent amount to the Volcarona, since it's plus two. And then Tinkaton might be able to clean up in the late game. Garchomp doesn't protect, so it's going down this turn. Yeah, it does, like, way over half. So the next one will KO. What if there's Struggle Bug? You go for Heat Wave, that's not going to KO me. Doesn't KO either my Pokemon. As long as it doesn't burn. Yeah, we're good. There's King Gambit. So, actually, this is pretty... What?! Oh, he's running the nasty set. Wait, he's running the nasty set. No. No. Okay, I can win this. I have to protect here. And I always go for foul play on the Volcarona and try to KO. But I need my Murkrow to go down here. Supreme Overlord King Gambit. I guess it's better than Defiant if... You know, it, it, I mean, I, I Defiant's like more splashable, but Supreme Overlord is, I guess, like usable in situations like this, where there's like no Intimidate Mons or whatever. Sucker Punch. Failed. All right, please Heat Wave. I need you to KO, or maybe I can get burned here. Critical hit, nice, okay. That's actually pretty bad. That's, that's pretty bad. Let me Nasty Plot and Foul Play. You're going to want to Sucker Punch again. Yeah. Just broke their ankles right there. They're getting their ankles broken. They may even be Assault Vest, so next turn I Protect and Foul Play. And hope that they KO my Murkrow. Trying to call a switch. They're trying to call a, a Nasty Plot again. 
Oh, they're getting their ankles broken, dude. <laughs> Incredible. All right, check this out. Another nasty plot, another foul play. <laughs> their ankles are getting broken. I've already broken two of them. What? What did I break this time? <laughs> Oh my god. Alright. Another protect is optimal and I foul play again. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Okay. Dude. That was a great game. That was a great game. Also, we probably earned a ton of points off of that. They were top uh, 400. Let me see how points I got. Let me see how many points I got off of that before I end the video. Let me see. That's how you know the team goes hard. I hopped on ladder and took two wins immediately. No cuts, nothing. Yeah, 2,000. That's a decent amount of points. All right, but yeah, that's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, the pace for the team is going to be in my Discord if you want the details and just use it on Showdown. But the rental code, of course, was on screen earlier. So yeah, if you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.